Donald Trump gave a speech in Aurora, Colorado, backdropped by signs that read deport illegals now and end migrant crime. Trump appeared completely lost on stage and there was palpable panic in the audience. A meandering Trump. Um, when you see the crowd of people, you see that they look very confused. He does this rant about he, how he will protect women. Nobody seems convinced. Your community will no longer live in fear. You will once again have a protector in the White House. I'm going to be a protector. You know, I, I said, I think we're doing very well with women. We're doing great in the polls. We're winning in all of the polls, just about. He's losing women by a record gap to Kamala Harris. But somebody said women love my policy, but they don't like me. I think they do like me. I'll tell you what. So. Yeah. Just another one of these confused meandering speeches and tragically Donald Trump again repeating this line, which we now are so familiar with this week of the enemy within the real enemy. It's not Russia. It's not China. The problem is leftists in the country, the enemy from within all the scum that we have to deal with that hate our country. That's a bigger enemy than China and Russia. A bloodthirsty crowd cheering for the presidential candidate saying the real adversary is not Russia or China. It's within the US. It's the left. It's people who disagree with me politically. Trump also promising to take away the license of CBS to broadcast. And they added a much shorter statement that she made. 10 minutes later, having nothing to do with the question. Uh, I don't think anything like that's ever happened. And now we're finding out that it happened throughout. It wasn't the only instance. And now we're thinking that it probably happened with Biden a couple of times because he was interviewed by 60 minutes and some strange things happened. So they're asking. But think of this. So CBS gets a license and the license is based on honesty. I think they have to take their license away. Trump has now said that he would take away the broadcast licenses of MSNBC, ABC because he didn't like being fact checked during the debate and CBS because he doesn't like how 60 minutes is functioning. Trump focusing in on teleprompters, attacking Kamala Harris for using a teleprompter while using a teleprompter. Who has no clue what the hell is going on? I have to tell you. Did you see where she did a town hall yesterday and she used a teleprompter? I never saw a town. They ne you don't use teleprompters. We don't use teleprompters. Period. Pretty much. You know. We don't use teleprompters. Period. Pretty much. You can see the teleprompter Trump is using as he delivers this speech, and of course he's lying. The teleprompter. This was another conspiracy theory. The teleprompter visible on screen during Kamala Harris's town hall was for the anchor. It was a script for the anchor. And if you zoom in, you see that it's text that was read by the host or the anchor of the town hall, not by Kamala Harris. And then finally, Donald Trump winding down this speech about deporting illegals, as he says, uh, by saying that they are rapists and they're rapists. OK, so I made that statement and I got the hell knocked out of me by the fake news. Look how many you have back there. Oh, I got the hell. But I took a lot of heat for saying it, but I was right. And now everybody is admitting that I was right. You know, the Trump was right. How many times have you heard that? You know, when Trump ran. There you go. So Trump saying back when I came down the escalator and said the Mexican rapists are coming here, it turns out that I was correct. Wow. Uh, I don't know at this point whether we should be more concerned about Trump or the people still going to these deranged rallies and to sort of close out the Trump rally portion of the show. Let's now go to Reno, Nevada. One of our sponsors is Zipix nicotine toothpicks. Don't you think it's time you stopped putting smoke and vape oils in your lungs? 
Zipix toothpicks are a convenient way to curb the nicotine cravings. Zipix toothpicks are super discreet. You can use them anytime, anywhere. Smoking and vaping aren't allowed, including flights, sporting events, in restaurants. They're available in six different flavors with options of two and three milligrams of nicotine. If you're not a nicotine user, Zipix also offers caffeine and B12 infused toothpicks. Zipix has already helped tens of thousands of customers ditch the cigarettes, ditch the vapes. They might be able to help you too. If you're a smoker or a vapor, give Zipix toothpicks a try. Your lungs will thank you. Go to zipixtoothpicks.com today. Save 10% with the code PACMAN10 at checkout. Just remember, you must be 21 or older to order. The link is down below.